I'm going to talk a little bit about how to give verbal feedback on Google Docs using the Chrome browser. So you can see here, uh, I'm in my Chrome web store. So you can simply Google talk and comment and Chrome extension, and that'll bring you to your Chrome web store and it'll bring you to this um, particular extension, talk and comment. You simply add it to your existing um, list of Chrome extensions. Once that's done, it's going to sit up here alongside all your other extensions. Now I'm going to go to Google Classroom and have a look at some classwork that a student has submitted. In this case, it's a volcano essay. I'm going to view the assignment. One student has turned it in. And I'm going to have a look at this student's work. So this student has turned in an essay. Now, for the purpose of this particular um, bit of feedback, I'm not going to use rubrics that will be covered elsewhere equally i'm not going to cover text feedback that will also be covered elsewhere in other videos i'm just going to have a look at verbal feedback so in my example of the essay in the teacher side if i want to give some feedback on let's say this first sentence here you can see what google what what the chrome extension talk and comment has done it has put a little microphone icon on the right hand side. Now, if I click this microphone icon, it will prompt me straight away to record some verbal feedback. So I'm going to do that now. Could you describe something that happened when the molten lava met the river, perhaps? So I clicked record when I was happy. I clicked my green tick, which then generated a voice note link uh, which has gone up into my clipboard so i can just simply go to ok if i now click on comment as i would do normally i can paste in this url this link i can go to right click paste or control v there's comment now obviously at this stage i can give more feedback if i want to but for the purpose of what i'm doing i'm just going to simply return that back to the student and the student will get that feedback from me. Now, you can see here that it is still in, in, in link form. That will turn into a little play icon that a student can access that feedback. So if I now go to um, this on the student side and have a look at the work that the, that the, teacher, has, um, that the teacher has submitted back to the student, Going to have a look here and hopefully my feedback will have come up and it has now you can see also that the little voice note has come up as a little play icon so i'm just going to play that for a moment so that you can hear it could you describe something that happened when the molten lava met the river perhaps okay so that's fine. The student now can make their changes, okay, and can type in their changes and can turn that back in to the teacher. And of course, um, all that then will be recorded. If I go to resolve here, up in your comment history, the full list and description of the formative feedback that has occurred from the teacher to the student will be listed here. Another point worth noting is that a student does not need to have the extension installed to be able to play the audio feedback from the teacher. However, if the student wishes to give feedback, verbal feedback, they will need to have uh, installed the, the Chrome extension talk and comment as well on their side. Okay, that's just giving you a little bit of um, feedback there or a little bit of, of the description on how to use talk and comment uh, voice notes. Thank you.